I've always been really keen not to just deliver the sessions just to young offenders, just to disadvantaged young people. It's, we want to open it up to everyone. So we've got a QC that comes down and trains. We've got a banker that comes down and trains. We've got all of these other people who from different walks of life who can then offer opportunities to some of our guys. When I came out of jail, the last thing the probation sent me on was a case of this place here at the end of my license. I've actually helped people get back into work. It's just given me a more sense of responsibility and someone, uh, well, people that actually need me and people that actually want help to know that we're here to actually help them. We've got two in a wheelchair and uh, one that's had a, that's got a prosthetic limb from his hip down. Our target group is disadvantaged young people and people with disabilities does come into that. One of our participants brought a friend along who was in a wheelchair. Um, he came in and said, oh, I don't know if I can get involved because it's boxing and we just said well if anyone can get involved so forced him into it, brought him in, stuck him in front of one of the coaches, started taking on the pads, he loved it. Being in a wheelchair it's hard to adapt to reintegrate back into society well obviously thanks to Carnies I feel free that I can do whatever I need to do. I've increased immensely in my upper body strength and also my confidence level just by coming into a normal environment and training has gone up. I think what people most get out of coming to Carney's community is opportunity. They're not judged, they're just given an opportunity and given some responsibility. There's two organisations that have been a huge help to us from starting. Firstly Fitzroy Lodge, which is the boxing club that we were born out of, where Mick Carney was the club leader for over 40 years, but also Ellsfield Amateur Boxing Club as well, that have offered us facilities, trainers, and they've been brilliant. There's a number of people that go to these boxing clubs that I'm fairly certain would be in prison if they didn't have that boxing club. So one of our aims is also to try and sort of highlight what these amateur boxing clubs are doing for our, our young people.